Hey guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm Shara. And as a lot of you guys know, March 20th was the first official day of spring. So you know what that means? That means I gotta update my house and make it look all springy and cute. And I'm definitely not upset about it. I went to a few different stores, a few of my favorites, and I found like 10 different items that would just add the extra sprig of spring to my apartment. And I thought that I would show you guys what I got because it's kind of like a, you know, unboxing? No, haul? It's kind of like a haul, I guess. But I'm not gonna just show you what I got. I'm gonna show you how I use it and where I put it and how it works. And I just, you know, it'll come along the process with me and I'll show you what I did. Sound fun? Okay. So before we get started though, I want to remind you guys we are only 10,000 subscribers away from announcing our big 1 million subscriber giveaway. So you guys really like tell your friends, let's get that number up there because if we do, you guys, I'm gonna start giving you stuff. It's essentially like the big announcement, but I'll tell you specifically what I'll be giving you. But we have to get to 500,000 and we're almost there. And if you guys aren't following on Instagram, you guys should really do that because I've been uploading a bunch of fun little bits of content there. Um, and if you are already subscribed but you haven't hit the notify bell, be sure to do that. Because it's the first day of spring, the question of the video, question of the week is, what is your favorite flower? Leave me your answer in the comments below. Okay, are you guys ready to jump into this video? Well, let's look at the very first thing that I bought, which is over there. So the first thing I got were a bunch of different picture frames. Um, one, you guys know if you've watched any of my videos, I really do love updating my space throughout the year with just different frames. It's a really inexpensive way to not only refresh your home, but kind of gives you a reason to print out new photos or update them along the way. Also, look how cute this one is of Scout. It's like perfectly frames her little buttercup face. And this one here. And they're in pastel, so they match my new little color palette um, for spring, which is kind of these powder blues and the mint green, and also this like peachy soft pink. I love adding these little like word prints. They're cute, and there's like this little rose gold foil, and it's just like totally my colors. It just fits perfectly. But I'm gonna use these kind of all around the house, so I'm putting them in my bookshelves, I'm putting them on my desk, on my coffee table, um, and kind of just like mixing them around. These are really easy to just like place wherever, but inexpensive and a fun thing to add. And the pineapple one, I can't forget that. How cute is that? But don't worry guys, I will link all of the things I'm gonna show you today on my blog. I will link that below. It's a new fancy blog that I've been working on, so I hope you guys enjoy the beautifulness of the blog and that you find the blog post helpful because it'll help you find all the stuff. Okay, let's move on to number two. The second thing I got were these really cute new knobs. They are a pale pink and kind of this brassy detail. I love switching out my knobs because it really updates the space, especially if you're renting. This is something that you can put new ones in and just save the original handles that come with the apartment, keep them in a safe place, and then switch them back out when you move out. Um, these are really fun. I could totally reuse these in another room, but I thought they were so fun for spring because they're kind of pink, but they're not like bright pink, kind of pale, kind of muted and it's on my wardrobe, so it's not like I'm forcing this pale pink on Tyler. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we do have a blue headboard, so it's so just like a happy medium, right? And one of my go-to places for knobs is Anthropology and World Market because they have an endless amount in like all different colors. It's awesome. Okay, the third thing I got were these adorable matchstick holders and candles. Um, I wanted to get these in these really fun pink colors, and look how cute this one is. It kinda has this periwinkle lid that goes on it, but look how cool these are. I don't think these have been out there for very long because I have never seen these, but I've always wanted them. These are those Capri Blue candle votives, okay? So like, you know how everyone loves the Capri Blue? smell and if you don't know what that is you need to go to anthropology right now or I'll probably link them and get them on Amazon if you don't have an anthropology near you but I'm not kidding you guys these are the best smell ever and now you can put them in any candle holder thing that you have you don't have to just buy a candle thing at anthropology I'm just so excited and there's six of them and they're perfect and your house is gonna smell so beautiful and that's the fun thing I love about candles is it definitely creates an ambiance in your house it gives you that cozy, warm feeling and very inviting when you have guests over. So I would definitely recommend stocking up on these on any time of the year, but specifically springtime if you want these fun colors. You guys totally know I'm obsessed with these matchstick holders, these big bottles. 
Uh, and if you maybe kind of sort of want to see a DIY on how to make these yourself, leave me a comment below. I'll be doing it on Instagram. That's why you should go follow. Number four are these awesome crystal geodes. Um, I'm obsessed with these. This is kind of like a new trend that's been going around for the last few months. You can really find these guys in a lot of different colors to match the color palette of your home. And it just gives that like earthy, but like shimmery vibe. I don't know, it's just kind of dreamy. And it hits the light just right, it's beautiful. And I can stick it right here on my bookshelf. Perfect. Number five is all about flowers. You guys know I love flowers. Okay, so I kind of did a couple different things here. I got these cute little vases. Look how sweet this one is. I have this little kind of test tube type uh, setup here, which I think is actually really cool. But you can just put single stem flowers or buds in these. And these are actually fake, they're not real. And then over here, look how cute this little cactus guy is. He's so cute. This I love. Obviously, if you guys have a big house, you could totally use this as a vase, but to be honest, I love it in my bookcase and I can't fit any flowers in it, so I'm using it more of like as a sculpture than a vase. But how cute is that? Then I found a couple vases to put my real flowers in. Uh, I'll show you guys over there on my dining room table. Side note, if you guys wanna know how to arrange your flowers in a really beautiful way on a budget, go to my Instagram highlights, because I have one, I think it's under the DIY or flowers or something. You can get a little quick tutorial on that. I also picked up these fake flower pots, uh, because they're perfect to have around the house when I'm lazy and I just don't have any fresh flowers, but I still want some sort of color. Um, and I love the marble uh, pot here and these sage green kind of frosted leaves. And then I thought this lavender was so pretty. I could put them in the bookcase, put them in the bathroom. Perfect for spring. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up are these really cute plates and these dessert bowls. So I always tell you guys to stick with white plates and white china because you can always add stuff to it, which is usually like what I was planning to do for Easter and finding like a pink plate to put in the middle. But then I was out shopping and I found these Easter plates that were literally $3.99 each. That's like a no brainer. I don't need that many, I only needed four. I am hosting Easter this year and I wanna make it look great. So I got these cute little pastel pink and mint green plates, which I think are so beautiful. And these cute blush glasses are from Ikea. They were like $2, so awesome. So if you guys are looking, I kinda of tend to wait till like two weeks before the big event. You can usually find stuff on sale. And then look how cute these are. I think these are the Magnolia ones or something. They probably are, because they're just so cute. Love the color, great for Easter, and they kind of look like vintage or something. Like, I got it from my grandma. That's a great story. I didn't, I got them from Target, but they look like I could have gotten them from my grandma. Mom, I already have your table setting all set. <laughs> Three weeks before Easter. Um, I didn't have a card holder for these, so I just took a lemon, cut it in half, sliced the top, and stuck a card in there. This is called improvising, people. But I think it looks great, especially for Easter, a little pop of lemon, I mean yellow. Now these place mounts are really fun too for Easter. They have this really cute threading that's like a mauve pinky color. One thing that I'm not so thrilled about when I got home and realized I have white plates on a white placemat. Not usually something I would recommend. So I'm gonna try to figure something out. So check back in on Instagram. I will add it to my stories once I find a solution and solve the problem. Number six, right? Are we on number six? Dang it, number seven. <laughs> okay, so the seventh thing that I bought, I got these awesome candle holders that are actually like planted into this really pretty pastel agate piece of rock with like a gold lining. It's so feminine, so beautiful, and just gives your dining table like those different levels and adds some ambiance with the candles. I absolutely love them. And don't worry, I will link them below because I think these are gonna be a popular one. And if your candles drip at all, it's just gonna drip right onto its little plate. So that's great. And it really does just add the perfect feminine colorful touch. Number eight, eggs. What do I mean? <laughs> Okay, so I found these eggs, these are like these pastel, it's actually a garland, but it didn't really fit on the window and it just looked better in this little cup. Pretty cute. So we kind of like piled them all on top of each other. I think it makes the perfect little detail in my pastel bookcase, but that's not all. I also got this big egg, how cool is this? This could either be a centerpiece, this could go in a bookcase, 
This could go on a side table in one of your kids' rooms. I think this thing is like super like hipster kind of, uh, which isn't really my style, but it works because it's white and it's gray or black or something, and it's an egg and it's Easter and it's everything fun and exciting for spring. So that's why I bought it. Don't you like it? Oh, and you guys, I found this book. It's beautiful to decorate with, but it's also a really cool book. It's called Eat Beautiful, Food and Recipes to Nourish Your Skin from the Inside Out. Doesn't that sound just so intriguing? It has so many delicious, yummy recipes. So I thought I'd tell you guys about it in case anyone wants to check it out. Number nine is throw pillows. Sorry, Tyler, but I needed a couple extra pillows for my spring palette because hello, I just needed them. You know how men are with their throw pillows, they just don't quite understand them. Roll the footage of Tyler complaining about my bedroom pillows. But pillows are honestly a really easy way to like totally make your entire space feel totally different. This one I'm gonna put in my office because it's like really pink, whereas these ones are a little more doable, you know, for a guy, hopefully. He'll be surprised when he comes home. <laughs> but no, I love these pillows because they still would match with the neutral palette, which I kind of have a base of a good neutral in here. And then I add colors depending on the season. But look how cute this one is. I love this little touch of fun texture. Um, and then I also, I love these pillows because they really tie in with some of my neutrals that I have, like our rug and this blue gray that we have here, which is a really great like basic for a pillow. If you guys are wanting a pattern and a texture, but you want a solid color, I highly recommend those. And then these I found at Ikea, and they were so cheap. Don't these look like they're from uh, Anthropology? Yeah, they're from Ikea, I know. I'll link them below, but these are some of my new favorites. But as you guys can see, I got them in different prints and different textures, but the hue is all very similar, and they all go together. Number 10 is this cute little bandana for Scout. Your dad's gonna kill me because I'm letting you look like a girl. I love this bandana. I found it on Etsy. And I thought you guys, if any of you dog lovers out there that you wanna dress your dog up with something cute and watermelon-like, I think this is so adorable. They have all different kinds of sizes. Look how cute you are. Smile. Yay! She wants to kill me too. Okay, stay, I have a present for you. Stay. Happy Easter! Hi! Look how cute this little bunny is. Okay, well, see you later. Okay guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked those 10 new things that I got for spring. Hopefully it gave you guys some inspiration, maybe opened your eyes to some current decor that you already have that you can repurpose, or maybe it gave you a few ideas of what to pick up next time you're out at Target, or if you guys wanna order anything, I will be sure to link anything that was in this video below. Uh, on the blog post, so go ahead and click that link and check it out. And I hope that you guys are having a beautiful and fun spring and a wonderful Easter with your families. Don't forget to leave a comment below, tell me what your favorite flower is, and if you guys have any special traditions that you guys do for Easter, I'd love to read those as well. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and the bell button if you wanna get notified. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Scout's hungry, apparently. That's perfect timing. What are you doing?